Hey buddy, watch this. Hello, hello, Regis Kilbin is the name, and Hearthstone is the game, and this is a deck spotlight on a Cthulhu Druid list created by Kalento. Now, I probably don't have to tell you who Kalento is. He is one of the best Hearthstone players in the world, and this is the version of Cthulhu Druid um, that he has been playing. So essentially, this is a ramp-style Druid deck with a lot of mana stuff like Wild Growth and Innervate, to help you get into the late game where you play lots of big scary minions, particularly those with taunt, and use those to stabilize the board and just essentially uh, drain out your opponent's resources at removal, whereby you push your minions through for lots of damage. And if you don't win just on the back of giant minions, you've also got cards like Ragnaros the Fire Lord, and of course the Cthulhu that the deck is named after to finish them off as well. So uh, this list essentially just utilizes some big taunts, um, a lot of Cthulhu synergy cards that buff Cthulhu, and some big scary legendaries near the end as well. As far as um, unusual cards are concerned or interesting pieces to the deck, um, there really aren't that many highlights. Uh, there is a mulch included, which not everyone runs all the time. But uh, Kalinto does like to have a little bit of hard removal in the deck, because Druid can have trouble with one big minion at a time, sometimes like a Tyrion or a Ragnaros, uh, without other hard removal options like a Priest might have, for instance. So there is a mulch included. It does give your opponents some upside. But for those instances where you have no other way out, mulch is often a good answer, because you don't want to trade your whole board in. Uh, there's a brand Bronze Beard included, included as well. Um, Brand works really well with all the Cthulhu minions because their buffs are battle cry, so you can double all the buffs. Uh, he's also especially good with Twin Emperor Vecklor because you can get three, four, six taunts for seven mana, which is totally nuts. And of course, you can even play him with Cthulhu himself. Uh, unfortunately, many of the Druid choose one cards, like the Druid of the Claw, don't actually work um, with Bran, but all the Cthulhu cards do, and there's really only the Druid of the Claw as a minion, so you're not really losing that much there. So Brand's a really good fit for this deck. Uh, Fandral Staghelm makes the list very good with Nourish on Curve, if you're able to pull that off. Uh, but also good with Wrath and Living Roots and Druid of the Claw, so um, some options as well there. Uh, only one Ancient of War, really because you have enough taunts otherwise between the Dark Arakoa and uh, the Twin Emperor Vecklor, Druid of the Claw, the deck is loaded with taunts, uh, so it's kind of overkill to have yet another one. When you can trade it for a cool minion like Ragnaros, uh, that gives you some removal, some damage threat, and just another big body for your opponents to deal with. And then finally, Cthulhu himself, a uh, big scary guy at the end, that usually wins you games when you play it, or at least leads to a win very soon. So there you have it, that's the Cthulhu Druid. By Kalinto. Nothing that surprising, but uh, this is the exact list that Kalinto likes to play, and therefore I think it's a pretty good list to myself. So let's go ahead and take the Cthulhu Druid out onto the ranked ladder to see it in action. Uh, if you haven't been playing Cthulhu Druid just yet, it's moderately popular, but I would not say it's one of the most successful ladder decks right now. It hasn't exactly penetrated the meta all that much. Um, people are playing it here and there. But uh, despite what everyone imagined before Old Gods hit, when you saw some of the crazy uh, Cthulhu Druid cards like Dark Air Koa and the uh, Klaxi Amber Weaver, it's not quite as strong as everybody imagined. Uh, but I still think it's a very good deck, and it's actually not that expensive of a deck. Uh, as long as you have the Twin Emperor Vecklor and a couple of the Synergy cards like these two, uh, you can build a really good list affordably. Uh, we'll actually keep the 2 and the 4 drop here. We'll send back the 5 and the 6. Um, this is a good curve. If we can fill it in with like a wild growth or something, it could work nicely too. But we have the coins. We can actually 1 drop, 2 drop, 3 drop, 4 drop, 5 drop. So this is um, a pretty sick opener actually. We have a great curve since we can uh, actually curve into the Amber Weaver on 3. Now notably... It's unlikely our Cthulhu will have 10 attack when we play this, um, but still it's just a 4-5 for 3 mana, and that's awesome. The Innervate does give us a little bit of flexibility though, so we may change our plans as this uh, as this develops. If we get another Cthulhu Synergy card uh, before we play these, that would be better. 
That's one of the only downsides to the Amber Weaver is, as a druid, it is sometimes easy to get them out early, which means um, that sometimes you don't get to buff them. I'm just going to go ahead and innervate out the 5 drop here. It doesn't need to have taunt. It's so early in the game that 4 health is likely pretty safe. That's a control warrior, so uh, Fire War Axe doesn't kill it. He couldn't armor Shield Slam. He couldn't Shield Bash, Shield Slam. Like, I think it's just going to live like that, right? So, uh, now I wish I could innervate that out. <laughs> um, but the Klaxi still here, as I mentioned, is fine as a 4-5. We'll kill that. It's obviously susceptible to execute, um, but we have a couple big bodies and a lot of stuff on the board and good follow-ups. Um, so I think we're okay. Execute's not fun, but it's mana he has to use. I'd rather him execute that than one of our giant taunts, so all in all, solid trade. Uh, so we can kill this. We have to attack this way first, because these are going to die anyway, so we don't want the enraged part to hit the main part of that guy. And the Irko will put us over 10 for Cthune for our Klaxi and our Vekler. So we got some good turns coming up. We can 4-drop uh, Hero Power next turn. It's really annoying. It's really annoying. It's always hard. Sylvanas just creates so much friction. There's never a good way to play around her. Um, I can actually attack, and then maybe she gets this one in trade. Um, if I play my own, his goes off first, so there's a chance that he steals my Sylvanas somehow. If he, like, shield slams his. Um... If he steals mine, I'm going to feel really bad. Just, like, really bad. I think I'm better off just doing it. Just just taking the bite. Uh, I could cost myself four face damage here. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and go face. And If he gets this one, I'll just deal with it later, right? Or I can go this way, too. I guess we'll just do this. This is actually a pretty good play. Yeah, it wasn't really that bad. I probably overreacted there. He had outs either way. Glad I attacked face first. I would have lost four damage otherwise. It's actually a really good answer. It's actually really good. I don't want to send the, the Arakoa out to die, and I don't want to send the, the Sylvanas out to die for free. Do I send this guy out? It's actually not going to die to the Berengeddon on its own. That was the perfect answer to my board. Wow. That, he said two straight turns. I've just kind of had to, like, bite the bullet. Like, just no good answers. I actually don't mind that card. He's going to halfway kill it for me with the Baron Geddon, so, um... That's not a big deal. We don't really care about the armor too much either. It's not the old days of, um... Combo Druid, so... I didn't draw the swipe, though. Like, I really need the swipe, man. Like, really, really need the swipe. <sighs> this isn't a good turn either. Everything is absurdly awkward. I'm just going to draw cards here. Like a wrath. Okay, there's a wrath. That's 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 actually good. Um I'm scared that I'm dead, to tell you the truth, at 17 health. Uh, it's absurd as that is. This Baron Geddon has just been stupidly valuable. And he's going face. Like, oh my gosh. Wow. Hit the minion. Oh, man. Wow! That sucked. Like, that legitimately sucked. 
this is the one problem with Druid, right? Is if you fall behind on the board a little bit and you don't have the hard removal, you're pretty much donezo. We didn't get any spells, no swipes. Ugh. Everything felt bad. I should have just played the Twin Emperor Vecklers, I guess, and sacked them into the the uh, Baron Geddon. He got way too much value. I was trying to um, trying to play the long con, essentially, and uh, lost thanks to rag shenanigans. I, just, I think I just played that awkwardly. We could have done much better there. Keep the Fandral, keep the Wrath, hope for the Wild Growth, Innervate, Fandral stuff. Just, uh, pretty good. Where were you last game, man? Where were you last game? Yeah, we, I mean, in hindsight, right, trading a Dark Arakoa for... Um, a Baron Geddon is not a bad trade. It's it's an even mana split. So maybe I should have just done that. I thought we could weasel our way around the Baron Geddon and find ways to kill him. Uh, but as we saw, that that didn't work out at all, did it? Um, this hand is awful. It's just really bad. I'm actually going to play the Bran. It's not going to get us any value, but I'm hoping he uses all his stuff to kill it instead of the Fandral, because I'd really like the Fandral to live, uh, in the hopes that I get like a Nourish or whatever. I can't even play the Fandral now, he's 4 damage showing, so um, this guy's not even going to get value. I think I have to Wrath Hero Power. No, we'll just play this guy as a 4-5. This is this is a bad start. This is a bad game to have on video. But that's how it works sometimes. You gotta show the deck in its real true form, even when it's bad. Keep burning that removal so I can have a really sick turn six Fandral Wrath. And feel like he's safe. He really is using a lot of removal. On a four or five. It's another bad draw. I'm gonna use it though. That might bait him into thinking he can play uh, Violet Teacher and go nuts. She can't. Uh, that's actually perfect for Fandral Wrath. Um, this is going to do 4 damage, of course, and draw me a card. So, best possible scenario there. That's a good card, too, but I still don't have any Cthulhu buffs, so I can't even play it. How sad is that? Nourish would be a great draw. Nourish is top draw on the deck. He's going to eviscerate that, maybe? Can he? He's going to have to combo. Deadly Ivis. Deadly SI. Man! I never get hands like this when I'm rogue. I always get, like, junk. I got three preps and a double auctioneers before turn six. Oh, look at that, too. Salty. For sure. I gotta draw cards. Got to. Gotta get some Cthulhu buffs up in here. Still no Cthulhu buffs. Is this real life? Should I kill that? Is it worth the Innervate? No, I don't think so. I could Innervate Living Roots, but it just feels real bad. I can't believe this hand. We have got a Cth We're gonna have to play a 6-6 six, six Cthulhu next turn. We actually could, is what's sad. We could legitimately play a 6-6 six, six Cthulhu. <laughs> uh, this one's not bad. Question is, if I Living Roots or not? I don't know. Could Living Roots... Innervate, kill that. I think I will. I don't think the Innervate's going to get a lot of value moving forward. And it increases the likelihood that this thing lives. He's used so many removal spells and, like, damage. He has uh, six damage still, but, I mean, he's probably got a backstab or a shift, but 
If he has to trade the Violet Teacher in, is what we're looking for, right? We want the Violet Teacher to die. We want him to, like, auctioneer, prep, backstab, trade, trade. So we can kill a bunch of dudes with swipe and the auctioneer. Does not have the auctioneer, obviously. He would have played it already. Is that the other eviscerate? Man, it's going to keep that alive. We can swipe hero power to kill it, though. But we don't have anything for four mana to play after. Yeah, this is a bad hand. Uh, I could... Oh, actually, this is this is a pretty good play, honestly. This is a pretty good play. Um, we can go this way and swipe this way. Yeah, now, obviously this will die, but we're in a good spot now. His board's clear and he's out of cards. As long as he doesn't, like, auctioneer prep fan right now, we're in a good spot. That's not too bad. Uh, we actually can't play this still. Unbelievably, our Cthune still only has 9 damage. I just don't understand it. Well, Cthulhu is likely to kill that. Oh my gosh, really? We're going to have to mulch that, I think. I can mulch Ancient of War, but that's pretty bad to sap. Um, could mulch Twilight Elder. This thing is so good against sap, because even if they get one half of it, they can't get the other half. So I'm actually just going to Twilight Elder this turn. I'm not going to hear part of that because I'm scared that I might die if I do. Just because there's always the potential to do tons of damage. Double cold blood and stuff. Uh, he's used two of this, so there's not a ton of from hand spell damage damage. But uh, I can actually do these things now. I can twin up now. <laughs> Whoa, dude. That is, like, amazing. Kratz, he might even have a dragon, actually. Um, swipe's not that good. Nourish. I kind of want to rag, just because it's got like a two-thirds chance to do amazing work. Um, but double cold blood kills me if I don't hit a minion, right? Uh, actually, no, it doesn't. He's got 10, 11, 8 from cold blood's 19. I'll hero power to 20. So double cold blood wouldn't actually even kill me if I miss. Uh... I'm not going to attack anything, obviously. Hit a minion. Nice. Good one. Perfect. Kind of wish it had activated to kill this, too. Uh, sap is good, but then I can just go nuts with taunts, right? And then I don't know if he ever has enough damage. Oh, is he leaving that alive? No way. Are we just Is he trying to kill me now? He's just trying to kill me now. Uh, is this guaranteed lethal in any way? Gotta think about this. If it kills these dudes, that's five health. It'll do five damage. It won't kill him. So I don't guess that's the right route. We'll just play dudes. I uh, definitely want to hit a minion again. Ah, oh, this gives him a chance to clear and kill me, I think. I'm a little nervous. Double sap, double cold blood obviously kills me. He's, he's almost certainly dead to Cthulhu next turn, either way. I can't believe this thing has lived so long. How good would Swipe have been? Oh my gosh, 6 damage Shadow Strike's good. It's really good. Uh, at least he had to use that. If he has to use his face, he's really in trouble. I think we're in a good spot. If he's running stuff into this, no sap is, is great. Oh, he wanted the extra damage before he went face. He doesn't have it. There's no way. Because he's used two of this. The game is just over. Cthulhu wins, yeah. Well, Rag wins as well, but he was at eight. Okay, cool. That was kind of scary. We drew super poorly. Um, really, really poorly. But we still bailed ourselves out. Just thanks to all the taunts. If he'd had some saps, I think it would have been a different game. He was probably Maligos Rogue seeing uh, the shivs and the Sinister Strike. We didn't see an Auctioneer. He, he, he didn't draw well late. He drew pretty well early with the double SI and stuff. But Alright, Shaman's going to be interesting. 
Oh, finally a wild growth. I don't think we had those. Thought I forgot to put them in the list. <laughs> uh, since we have the wild growth, I don't think I want the nourish right away. That's a good hand for once. Uh, I might actually coin wild growth into Twilight Elder. Um, specifically because four health is much better against shamans than three. And having two two drops makes it a little awkward um, with wild growth because you want to play wild growth and you want to get a minion out. Uh, and if you do it in the incorrect order, it can be awkward. Plus three attack trades much better into stuff like this and the tunnel trog. Um, so I'm going to coin out the wild growth. It's not something you always do unless you have a good three drop. You used to do it for like Shade of Next Rammus. Uh, nowadays, I guess you do it for Twilight Elder, right? That's scary. At least this kind of trades into that stuff. Sets up the Wrath Beckoner at the very least. We do have a turn 4, turn 5, but I hope we don't have to Nourish on 5. I might actually Nourish for mana, especially if the hero power gets value. Because the two mana crystals you get from Nourish are active. They're, uh, they give you both max mana crystals and you get two immediately after casting it. It's kind of like a three mana double wild growth. Whoa. That seems to give me a lot of resources, right? Do I just um, nourish for mana now and wild growth? And then like have uh, rag sooner? Couldn't rag next turn. Swipe would sure be good, wouldn't it? I don't think I need to get that fancy just yet. I'm gonna draw a card first. Ooh, that's good next turn. Innervate hero power to kill this might actually be worth it. He's four attack on board. We have four health on board, right? So might actually keep him in alive a little longer. He's out of cards, too. Uh, we definitely don't want to see the flame wreath faceless. But beyond that, um, we're okay. You even have a taunt to kind of circumvent that for a little bit, but I don't want to send out my Druid of the Claw to die to a single minion. He's definitely aggro Druid. He's not running like... Uh... That's what we were talking about. Um, swipe does not kill it just yet. Uh... If he attacks here, Swipe will be good next turn. This trades into this to give it one health. That will have three health remaining, so Swipe can kill those two things for sure. Uh, Trog's not that good. He's going to kill my dude. It's fine as well. Uh, I can't kill the Trog right now, though. I need, like, a two-drop. Or just, I don't know, something. Innervate does not actually do anything this turn. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and hit the Trog while it only has one attack. Might be able to hero power it down next turn. Could make a huge difference. Uh, I really want to see like a big taunt right now. Dark Arakoa, Ancient of War, um, Twin Emperor, Vecklor even I think is okay. It's a lot of damage. Swipe would be a decent draw again. Rag is just not good against these kinds of things because he just barely takes out any damage. Uh, Disciple of Cthulhu's okay. I'm gonna draw cards first. I can innervate this out as needed. I'm actually gonna Wrath to draw more cards. I can still innervate a hero power as needed as well. Next turn we got stuff to do. Um, probably gonna Druid of the Claw, Disciple of Cthulhu. Depending on what he does. Might just Ancient of War. If this can kill me something though. Oh man, that's, that's really rough. It's a lot of damage every turn with the hero power. 
unfortunately, this dies to uh, that in the hero power, so I think I have to Ancient of War. I need him to not draw any good cards, like, ever again. So just like those. Exactly like those. Just no good cards. Uh, he can't actually get through this this turn, though. He's going to only be able to do 8, and he's going to take 10 damage doing it. Um, we have another taunt, so we might not actually be in a bad spot. We don't want him getting spells. Minions is good. We can deal with minions. Uh, we cannot deal with spells. I can even kill that next turn pretty easily with the Disciple. Uh, and taunt up again. I think you gotta kill it, dude. You gotta take eight. Swipe's gonna be good, though. Swipe is gonna be real good. I can't swipe and disciple, though. Oh, weird. Interesting. I like it. Um, can I actually... Uh, six... Oh, man, I'm one mana off what I want to do. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, I can charge swipe, but that doesn't really do that much. This is actually a tough turn. I can actually f charge this with taunt, but that, again, doesn't really do that much. Um, I want to do swipe, brand, disciple of Cthune, but I can't. I can Cthune, taunt. I'm for sure going to taunt, but what I do next is the real question. Um, I think I go like this. I'm not sure this is right, but um, it makes it the most awkward for him to get through both taunts. Uh, that might actually make a difference. It did make a difference. Um, he gets to send an extra one to face now. I'm too off lethal now. That really sucks. That bought him two damage. Alright, 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 alright. Uh, so I can... Cthulhu, kill that. Swipe, kill that, but I don't have a taunt, so I think I'm just dead, right? Um, can draw three cards. That flame juggle actually made a huge difference. It's kind of frustrating. Dark Arakoa, but I can't play it, um, so that doesn't do me any good. I'm just dead to the Tomb Hammer now. This, I think this is the technically correct play, but again, we're just dead. Uh, the Flame Juggler mattered. I think we'd still be dead this turn either way because we didn't draw another taunt. Um, well, we drew another taunt, but too late, I mean. That was a tough matchup. I'd like to play one more. I don't think we're giving this deck a fair shake. Like, I don't know. I don't think we've had a good example of what the deck is designed to do just yet. So we'll try one more time. Uh, that might be a sign that the deck is just inconsistent, right? Cthulhu Druid is not taking over the ladder or anything like a lot of people suspected. So, um, although we're giving it our best shot, perhaps the, the deck just has some legitimate weaknesses. All right, so that's a good two. We definitely want to send back these guys. It's not a great hand. Nourish is just so inferior to Ancient of Lore of old. Pre-nerf Ancient of Lore. It's basically doing the same thing you want Nourish to do, but it did it about ten times better. That's really one of the key weaknesses of Druid right now, I think. More than the combo hurt it, I think Ancient of Lore might have hurt it even more. Could have been an unnecessary nerf. Uh, so we'll play the Beckoner into that. That trades nicely. Dark Erico is a really cool card. It's so good that it's playable just by itself without Cthulhu. 
And then it has like the best Cthulhu buff of all the Cthulhu cards. You can see why people think Cthulhu Druid should be very good. That's the best draw on the deck, probably. Maybe Wild Growth would be better, but probably not. We're just off to a great start. We need a turn four, though. If we get an Innervate, I'll probably actually Nourish. But uh, Truth the Claw is solid, too. Oh, we can actually still kill that. So that was a weird... I don't know if I like that. This way. It's coming. I'm going to play this before... Um, A Cabal Shadow Priest turns. I, I don't have any way to use it right now, and I don't suspect it's going to make a big play for me in the future. Um, I'm kind of just playing it as a body while I think it's safe to do so. I don't want to play it once he can deal with it. Uh, he can waste a Shadow Word Pain on it if he wants, but that's really not that good to me. Oh, interesting. It's kind of annoying, actually. This way. Uh, this one's going to die to that anyway, so we'll just do that, and um, this will take both of these to two health, which is objectively worse than taking one of them to one health, because priests don't have a way to do one damage very reliably. Um, I'll taunt it up. So this having 3 health means it might survive a Holy Nova. If I did it the other way around, they'd both have 2 health, which means they'd both die to Holy Nova. Um, Excavated Evil obviously kills them both anyway, so that's irrelevant. But just in case I have to play around that one card, I, I made it more like, oh, he's just gonna flash heal my brand. This guy's a boss. Uh, Cthune trade's pretty good. I might even innervate the Nourish after. I probably will. Just to refill my hand, because I'm out of cards. And we have the boards. It's a great time to do it. Oh, nice. Right on time, Wild Ghost. All those two drops. Super helpful right now. <laughs> Super helpful. All those unplayable two-mana spells right now. At least we do have one good minion and some removal, so we've still got options. I shouldn't complain. Yeah, there's the Cabal we were worried about earlier. See? See? Uh, so I'm going to Wrath that and probably trade. And maybe Hero Power that. I want to see what I get. Oh, Swipe is better. Swipe's just better. No. Leaves me with the best minion out, right? So I can 6 Hero Power next turn. Um, he's going to play what? Oh, True Heart. Okay. Well, I guess Wrath would be pretty good against that as well. <laughs> um... I don't have a great way to deal with that. That might be worth mulching. Just to protect my dude. I think he's kind of like a combo priest, right? He's looking for the big hero power. He's got the flash heal, Ock and I. So I don't think I'm going to kill anything with mulch. Because he has like the Velen, but that's all going to happen in one turn. There's also the Emperor Thorison. I'm going to do it. I'm absolutely going to do it. And I'm even going to um, innervate out this dude. He can Shadow or Death this dude, of course. Um, but that's three mana. He can't Thorison if he does that. <clears throat> so it's just four more going to the face. Oh, and Tomb. Well, that's that's even more mana, so... Right now I gotta get more minions out, though, because I'm just trading even... Oh, that's a good one. Uh, this will put Cthulhu as a lethal draw, I think. He just used Entomb. He probably has another one. Or a death. It's like a combo pre, so he runs a lot of removal. So he's up to 11. Oh, he's actually up to 16. Both flash heals are gone, though. So if he's combo, he's already used a lot of his combo pieces. Uh, I'm going to draw with a Wild Ghost first. I may just end up playing only the Beck Gunner of Evil, which is kind of sad. Uh, actually, Sylvanas is probably good, too, just because he's used double in Tomb. Um, and she's likely to live. And I'm, I'm kind of just playing her as a 5-5, I think. 
I don't really expect her to steal. Uh, but we have six damage in hand, so I'd rather play the Sylph than the Druid of the Claw, because the Druid of the Claw can charge and Sylph can't. So if she if she actually survives, um, it's annoying. Um, so I cannot kill my Sylph first, anyway. Uh. So my Sylve is going to steal the Sun Fury Protector, and then his Sylve is going to steal whatever's next. Let none survive. Um, so there's a chance I can't get, I don't get to attack with my Druid of the Claw, right? Because she may steal the Druid of the Claw, and I'll end up. So we're basically going to trade side minions, or um, stay exactly where we are, and I'll just have killed the Sylve. It's kind of funny. So I get to keep mine, nice. She's just going to take it right back. <laughs> Obviously mine is considerably better. So like I said before, I'm going to hold on to the uh, the burst damage. The six damage here, because that might allow me to win the game. And these guys need time to attack. So this is going to be difficult for him to kill. Frankly, this still is difficult too. Uh, we have 10 damage showing, 6 damage in hand. He heals to 19. We don't have lethal right now. Uh, Cthulhu would be lethal, for sure. Wild Pyro, Shadow Word, Pain. Excavated Evil? Holy Nova. It's not bad. I dig it. It's like his whole hand, though, so... Um, we can actually Living Roots that down. What's the next card? He keeps wanting to play stuff. Circle of Healing? That doesn't do anything. Why would you do that? It gave you one health and also healed my guy by three. That just feels objectively wrong to me. I don't know. Uh, holding on to this guy might be futile at this point, given all the spells he just used. Um, but again, I kind of want my damage in hand. And I don't want to fill the board too much. I don't think there's any shenanigans that clear my board, but... Uh, just in case. Cairn. Uh, I think I just ignore that. Dark Erko is a great draw against Cairn. Cthulhu is in there somewhere, I think. We're gonna win anyway, it looks like, but still annoying that you're just hiding in there. Uh, even Akanai Circle doesn't really do much for him here. Another Holy Nova. It's not even that good. He's just dead to the board almost, right? 9, 13. Yeah, so this will do it. We've got lethal now. Cthulhu? Not even. Well played. Ran him out of gas. I don't know what his deck was about. I don't know if it's just control or combo or what, but he did not draw enough cards. I think him tossing out that uh, Northshire Clerk to die to our board is actually what might have cost him that game. A little too a little too free on his card draw. Alright, so that's a pretty cool example of the deck. Definitely capable of winning games. Maybe not the best deck in the format, but if you've got the Cthulhu pieces and the, the other stuff to build the Cthulhu shell, you can get by. You don't have to have the rag or the Sylve. Other just good minions could fit in there. You don't have to have the Fangel. Really just the Twin Emperor Hector is the only legendary that's Maybe sort of mandatory and even that you could probably pass off some other stuff. So, you know, pretty reasonably uh, Affordable deck in a sense at least most of it. So uh, Pretty fun too. I like playing Druid a lot. So I like this list even if it's not the best list in the world If you have any questions about this deck uh, Feel free to leave a comment if you enjoyed the video. I always appreciate that like and that subscribe uh, Thanks so much for watching and until next time game on <laughs>